guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something fun for Valentine's Day. I'm going to give you a couple very bougie expensive lipstick ideas. We've got a couple in the mid tier and then a couple that are budget drugstore as well. I love lipsticks. I feel like the best quote is that we can never have enough. There's always a different shade of pink that's slightly more nude or slightly more Barbie pink. There's a deeper rich red color. I mean, there's so many options, but these are the top that I've picked out for this year. Whether you're staying in or going out, doesn't matter. I still feel like even if you're staying in and doing like a steak and wine dinner, which is totally my vibe, get dressed up because sometimes just the idea of getting ready is the best part. And honestly, I've had instances where I've had more fun getting ready for whatever I'm going to than I actually had at the event or whatever I was headed. So I don't know, I like getting ready. So with that, we're just gonna get right in because I have about eight options to show you and my lips are about to get tore up. I have my makeup wipes <laughs> and I'm gonna take off every single one, show you what it looks like, and then have to take it off. So we're gonna keep doing this until I show you all the options, and I'll tell you about each formulation, consistency, and kind of the average price point. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with the bougiest, most beautiful, exclusive lipstick that just makes you feel like you're royalty, like you're a queen on earth. This is from Louis Vuitton Beauty. I bought this a couple weeks ago for the holidays and it is the most beautiful, gorgeous, rich, deep red shade, but the packaging is just exquisite. So just like in normal Louis Vuitton nature, everything has a little uniqueness, personality, a little spikiness to it, but this is really cute. A couple people had mentioned that you could wear this as a necklace depending on what outfit you had because it does come with this and it is just a work of art, just like their heels are. I've heard that the heels are not comfortable, but they are just a beautiful piece of artwork. I've never tried the heels, so I can't speak to that, but I've been really interested in trying some of their beauty. So what you got here, this top comes off, as well as this little connector on it, and it looks like a bullet. It is just so beautiful. The packaging is everything. And the lipstick is actually made in a really nice way that is like ergonomically easy for you to put on the lipstick. You don't necessarily have to look super hard at this to figure out where it needs to go, but it is a beautiful formulation. This is very matte, okay? I feel like this is one of those that just stays on for hours, it does not come off. And the price point for this is 100, it's around 100. I think it's 98, 97, something in that price range. I will make sure to have the exact shade the name of this particular lipstick, as well as a direct link to it in case you guys are interested in buying any of these. But this is just a beautiful work of art. I will definitely be using this. And here we go. We're gonna put this on the lippy lips. It's definitely more drying, but it is not super drying to the point where you feel like your lips are turning into like an alligator's ass. It is just a really nice, consistency and it spreads really beautifully so you could just put lipstick on the bottom and actually I should have done this while showing you guys another method I've done that just gives you kind of like a beautiful red stain is just either taking your finger and dabbing this on your lips or just putting your finger onto the lipstick and then just gently dabbing you could also do it just kind of like gently dab on your own lips using this but it gives you a beautiful like stained red look, kind of like that bitten look, if you just go gently with this. And then obviously if you want this intense red color, you would go in, you just go in, because it is super creamy, applies really well. It has a slight scent to it, but nothing too crazy. But honestly, I mean, what a beautiful present, what a beautiful gift. This is a really nice gift for someone in your life who just has everything, because Everybody could use a red lipstick at some point in their life and this is something you'll keep for a while Even though most lipsticks do have like a 12 month shelf life. I'm going to keep this until there is nothing left <laughs> But absolutely beautiful again. This is a really nice gift 
or it could be a really nice gift for yourself because obviously you're going to keep this lipstick for a long time. It's a classic red. It's beautiful for the holidays. It's beautiful for nights out. And I'm honestly wanting to wear red lipstick during the daytime too because at this point I'm just rocking whatever I got at any time of day because we all have not been out for so long. But I do like this. I think it's a really nice color and it really brings out the white of your teeth, which is never a bad thing. We are gonna go in first wiping. And this is a sad one to wipe off because it's so expensive. The next one's gonna be sad too. I'm applying a little concealer in between because otherwise it's going to turn into like clown lips because of all the red. So next one, this is another bougie option. It is about half the price of that Louis Vuitton one, but in the $50 price range, we are looking at Tom Ford lipsticks. I have a third one somewhere that I have not been able to locate, but that's fine. I just wanted to showcase these two because one has been a favorite lipstick of mine for literally years. It was the first super nice piece of lipstick that I ever had and it was the shade Pussycat 04 and it is a matte lip color. I have almost used this up. I've just loved this color. It's so natural and the thing about this is this is actually the matte formulation but it is so hydrating, so creamy, super pigmented and stays on really well. Now the one that I'm gonna use today it's just so fun. It is that perfect pinky nude that I just think looks so beautiful on everyone. And this is the shade Pretty Persuasive, number 67. And I don't know if these numbers are still intact because I've had this Pussycat one for years. I think it goes back to maybe like 2014, 15. Probably should have gotten rid of it, but I just love these so much. These are again, works of art, beautiful black and gold packaging. Tom Ford. I absolutely love this formula. And this is probably the lipstick that is the most ergonomic when it comes to actually applying into the crevice of your lips. This is even steeper, if you can see from over there. It is even steeper in terms of how this comes down, but it fits beautifully. It perfectly fits into the crook of your lips and applies so, so well. So let's do this color. I should have done this one last because I want to keep this one on. This is super creamy, really hydrating, and this color, mmm. I'm getting a little bit outside of my lip line, which is fine because I'm going to take it off anyway. This color is so beautiful. It's absolutely perfect for like a girl's date, a girl's lunch, a brunch, like daytime look so beautiful. I would even rock this at night because this lipstick stays on so well and while this one is not matte, it still has some serious long wear and it kind of turns into a beautiful stain after you've been eating and drinking for a couple hours. But truly, I would say that if you wanted a lipstick that was going to last a really long time, high quality, doesn't need a lip liner, these stay on so, so well, no matter which of the formulations you get, this is the lipstick I would go for. Again, this is a beautiful gift for someone, whether it is a Valentine's Day gift with some roses or chocolate or whatever you guys do for Valentine's Day. This is just such a good gift. And I feel like when you're giving gifts and I've gotten, I feel like I've gotten this way over the years, but you wanna give people something that they're actually going to use and enjoy for a long period of time and not just something that they're gonna throw away. Like people will eat chocolate, but like roses are gonna die. They're pretty, but maybe you could spend that, you know, $20, $30 for roses into a really nice lipstick. It's just a thought and something I've kind of come to the conclusion of as I've gotten older because it's nicer to have things that will last a while versus something that's gonna die in a couple days. So that's just my two cents. Highly, highly recommend the Tom Ford lipsticks. And again, I had sticker shock when I bought the first few. I have three now and I've bought them all myself. That's $150 in lipstick for three colors, but at the same time, I would rather have these three than like 10,000 like $5 ones, okay? I'm also coming to this conclusion where I would rather have a few quality items rather than a lot of less expensive, not so high quality ones. So 
I feel that Tom Ford is a really good value because if it's a lipstick and color you love, like I love that Pussycat shade. I've used it so many times. It's gone through so many business trips and meetings and all that stuff. It is so worth the $50 to me because I know that it's a reliable lipstick. It looks really pretty. It's not like trying too hard. Like the color just worked so well. And I have a little bit of a purpley tint to my natural lip color. And that color just brought it out in a really beautiful way. So I love Tom Ford lipsticks. I need the entire collection. I need them to sponsor me. I need them to add me to their PR list. I love that stuff. And I actually use that lipstick all the time. We are gonna move on to Ilia, which a lot of you have found in the last year. It's a beautiful, clean brand. Absolutely beautiful products. Actually, the blush I'm wearing right now is their multi-use stick, which you can use on your cheeks, on your eyes, on your lips. It is so beautiful. The color is everything. And I just love, you know me, I love Wonder Beauty, and I just love when they make one product that can do multiple things because it's so easy to travel with. It gives you more bang for your buck. And if the products are good, like you want it all over your face. I would rather use three products to get a full face than have to use a separate blush, a separate eyeshadow, a separate lip color. So I just think that they do a really good job. And it's clean and vegan and all of that other stuff that we all love. So this is the shade Knockout, and it is a color block lipstick. This is that hot pink vibe. Barbie vibes all the way. I absolutely love this color. I think it's so fun. Again, like a lunchtime date, um, you know, girls brunch, hanging out with the girls, going on a date during the day. I just think it is such a beautiful color. And it's so nice for spring and summer. I mean, I love bright colors like this for the spring and summer, and I'm just trying to bring on the spring vibes. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, that is Knockout. And this one also makes your lips look really white. It's that color contrast. Super, super pretty. And it just has so much personality. It's like, whoa, look at me. Like, I just love this one because I feel like it exudes confidence from within. And that is what lipstick really does a lot of the time when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, damn, I am a badass bitch. Like, that's just, it, lipstick does that. Lipstick just makes us feel so good. So I love this color. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is so fun, so bright, and I'm just ready for spring and summer. <laughs> now, in terms of the formulation, I almost forgot to tell you about that. Super creamy. This is definitely not more of a long wear one. This definitely comes off after eating and drinking. I kind of notice it like coming off, coming off, coming off onto my glass which is fine, I mean, you're gonna expect that with lipsticks, but it is super hydrating, and I feel like my lips feel good even after I take this off. There is just like a lot of, I think in the formulation, there's a lot of hydrating elements. I haven't read into this, I just feel it, just from applying this lipstick. So I do recommend this one. It's obviously not matte, it's more of that like high shine type of moisturizing lipstick, but I think you get a really good bang for your buck because this, all three of the ones I'm about to mention, this one included and then the next two, are all under $30. I think they're in the 27 to 29 range, which I think is a really good price. And you're also with Ilia getting a clean product as well. And if you wanted to, I do know a lot of people will do this. They'll take and just apply it as blush. And you do like stuff like this that can be multi-use. And this is a really pretty color as blush too. Get that little Barbie girl pink, very pretty, very chic. So you could technically use this as both. It's totally fine. I love that, I love multi-use products. Next up we have a NARS lipstick. This is from the Holiday Collection. This was the VIP Audacious Lipstick in the shade Mona. I will try to link this if I can find it, but this is a very unique color because it is more of a brick red. And I do find that this color is something that my mother-in-law would love. It's just a deeper color and it doesn't always work for everybody's taste. 
And the reason I like it is because I do like a difference in reds. Like I love that vibrant, true rouge red, but I also love different takes on a red lipstick. Now this one is a little bit messy. In terms of how this applies to the lips, it just feels messier to me. And with this color, it does tend to stain outside of your lips, so you have to go back in with a concealer of some kind, kind of fix it up, which I'm not a big fan of. And this is super moisturizing, which means it moves. If it's moisturizing, it's gonna move around the lips. But this just has a super classy vibe to it because it's got like more of those brown hues, which are very beautiful. But again, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Like having that red that has brown in it is not everyone's favorite color, but I really do think it's very classy, very chic. This is a perfect wintertime color. I just love the hydration element again of this one. It is not matte at all. Every single one that I've mentioned so far has not been matte except for the Louis Vuitton one. And I find that you don't want something that's necessarily matte because it does tend to be more drying long term. Your lips start to feel like they're so parched. With all of these, it's super hydrating, but again, like I've mentioned earlier, if it's super hydrating and it feels kind of moisturizing, it tends to move a lot more, kind of moves around, like you'll find it on your teeth, you may find it on your chin. It's just not as stable. You kind of have to keep checking to make sure that it hasn't like gone on your cheek because as soon as the wind blows, your hair gets caught, your hair drags it. So you do need to be more careful with the moisturizing ones, but they're just so much more beneficial for the lips. They're just not as drying. So that is why I love this kind of formulation, but this color is just so unique. Again, that shade was Mona. This was the holiday collection from NARS and I just love everything they do. So it is one of my favorites, but I do recommend this one. It is a different take. Okay. I gave you like a really pretty pink. I gave you a really vibrant red. This is just something for the person who doesn't necessarily want to be super loud, but you still want to make a bold statement that is not as like vibrant and wow in your face. But I do love this one too. This next formulation may be one of the best formulations ever made. Okay. These are huge words. But every single friend that I've had try this formula has been floored, amazed, and bewildered because this makes no sense. This defies lipstick logic because it is matte, but it is so hydrating and it feels like a pillowy cloud on your lips. What I'm talking about is the MAC Cosmetics lip color, and this is the Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. Oh, my goodness, when I got this whole collection, I first, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear a lot of these colors, and then I started applying each one, and I was like, this is the most hydrating matte lip color I've ever tried. So the exact color that this one is, is MAC Smash, M-A-C-S-M-A-S-H. This is another beautiful red color, similar to that vibrant red I showed you with the Louis Vuitton Beauty. But wow, this is like, wow, it just feels so good on the lips. Honestly, I couldn't stop saying wow when I discovered this because you can see it looks very thin. It looks like it would be a liquid lipstick that would just dry the shit out of your lips and it does not do that at all. I don't like the applicator, I will say that. It is very finicky and you have to be very specific, precise, and you also have to move pretty quick. But when I do that, the formula feels so good on the lips. It's so hard to explain because I feel like MAC has so many really drying matte lipsticks. And we kind of knew that from the very beginning. Like, And we all have had the lipstick where you smell it and you're like, that's a MAC Cosmetics lipstick. Like, They've been around doing this for decades. But this formula blew my socks off. It really did. Oh, it is so good. This is probably the best bang for your buck. Grab the color that you like. Again, this one was Max Smash. It feels like a pillow on your lips. There is no other way to describe it. Super hydrating. And then this one also stays on for so long. 
hours and hours and when it starts to come off it doesn't give you butthole lips it gives you basically a really beautiful stain so this just fades more naturally than some others would and in case you don't know what butthole lips are it means the inside of your lips just turn completely white and there's only color on the outside because you're eating and drinking this does not do that this is such a beautiful stain i'm just obsessed with this formula probably the best one i've ever tried i mean i already said it but look at how beautiful this color is makes your teeth look so white but also hydrates your lips and it is matte in my opinion this is like more matte and doesn't move as much as some of these other more hydrating ones but man this feels so good i just find myself doing this all day because i like feeling it because it feels it's unlike any other lip product feel when you run your lips together it just doesn't feel like a gloss doesn't feel like a matte lipstick it doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick it's like pillowy soft oh this is really good and you can kind of see just for me trying to remove it right now it's barely coming off like it is still stained red this is an oldie but a goodie. I also feel like anyone who has been in the beauty space or is a beauty OG from like 2010, you have tried a NARS lip pencil. They still sell them, they do. And this is the shade Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. It does require sharpener, which obviously is very annoying these days. We want it to be super easy and quick, but these are so good. They are super dry. This is not going to hydrate your lips. So if you wanted more of a glossy look, I would highly recommend doing a gloss on top or putting lip balm on first and then this on top or opposite. Put this first and then the lip balm because you're going to need some hydration with these because this will dry your lips out. But this lasts forever. This is probably my third one in the last, what, 10 years? because I love Cruella and I've always found that it's a very versatile color and you can really work up the intensity of this too. So kind of like I mentioned with the Louis Vuitton lipstick, when you kind of just like dab it gently on the lips, you can get a similar effect if you just gently run this over your lips. It could be more of a stain that looks more natural. And that's what I like about these because you can really work this however you want. So you can see this is more of a natural stain color, but if I want to go in and make it way more intense, bottom lip way more intense now than the top lip. So this is just very versatile, easy to work with, and it is very long lasting. The only thing, again, I mentioned you want to have a lip balm on underneath which will change the consistency. So what I would recommend is doing the pencil first and then putting a lip balm or a lip gloss on top to give yourself and your lips a little bit of that hydration element. But this is so good. It's a classic. Seriously, if you've been in the beauty game for a while, you know all about the NARS lip pencils because they are a ride or die. So these are my drugstore lower end. They are both under $10. I think they both maybe $9.99 if I'm not mistaken. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and this is in the shade The Sophia Red. A beautiful color for Valentine's Day, which you can rock during the day, you can rock this at night. It's that in-between of like a hot pink and red, and this formula does slightly remind me of that MAC Cosmetics Liquid Lip Color, the Powder Kiss, because it has that foaminess and pillowiness to it that just makes your lips feel super hydrated, but it also has the long wear because this is matte. It's not as good of a formula, but for the price point, this shit is good. And you can see there is a nice smell to it. It kind of smells like candy, but I do love this color. Again, another one, teeth be looking white. This applicator is a lot easier than the MAC one. So MAC wins in the formula. This one wins in the applicator and price point. So you kind of start to realize like what is your cost analysis? It really does have a nice hydrating element to it, but in about an hour, it's going to dry up. So not as much product is going to end up on your cup and your food and all of that. 
really great price point. So you kind of do your own cost analysis depending on what is most important to you. Do you want, you know, the really bougie designer packaging? This is a really good formula though. I can't compare these two, but let's just say you wanted a beautiful red and you have a Louis Vuitton at your disposal and you can get that. It's super matte, but it's drying, but it is Louis Vuitton beauty and the packaging is beautiful. Then you have this, which is much more hydrating. You could obviously go for this one, like when you're comparing $30 versus 10, if your budget is lower, this is a great, great option. If your budget is a little bit higher and formula is the most important thing to you, obviously go with this one. But if price point, color, I mean, payout, I mean, it just really kind of depends on what's most important to you. But this Revlon matte lip color is actually very good. And I don't really use a lot of Revlon if I'm being honest. So this formulation did really blow me away. And the closest to, I would say, is the Powder Kiss to this one because there is that like wet, pillowy, sort of hydrating formula to them and they come on wet and then they dry up and they're matte and they last all day. I just find that this one is not as good of a formula, but it is great product for $10, okay? And it's gonna last you a long time. I do like this like hot pink red combination too. So it's just up to you to decide what you prefer, but I love this stuff. This is the number seven high shine lip gloss and it is the shade pink hydrangea. I absolutely find this super hydrating and it is a beautiful gloss that just gives you a little extra something, but it has really good color payout. So you know when you typically apply a lip gloss, even some of the Too Faced ones from my Monday video, they don't really have a lot of color to them. This one has actually substantial color payout and you can really layer this on. It is hydrating lip gloss, but it is so good. And number seven to me is a brand that my mom initially introduced me to, which I love. Target, but it is kind of in between like being a drugstore brand, but it has a simplicity and beautiful packaging of a higher end brand. So they're right in the middle for me and I've just always enjoyed their skincare. So when they started coming out with all these makeup products, I've just been so excited to try them all. This is a really good gloss and I would actually even use this. Let's just say for example, you went in with the NARS lip pencil, super drying, pop this on top, Bada bing, bada boom, your lips are not coming off all night and you get a little plumpness, you get a little hydration, a little shine. So I'm just, yeah, I'm in love with all of these. I'm really curious after seeing how many we had four, five, six, seven, eight. I showed you two Tom Fords, so kind of nine, but I'm really curious which of these is your favorite and if you have any of them. Like if you already have Tom Ford lipsticks and you're like, yep, been there, done that, love them, like not going back to anything else, kind of curious. So let me know which was your favorite. And if you've tried none of these, I wanna know what your favorite lipstick, lip color situation is. And I hope you guys enjoy this. It's really fun to go through and kind of pick my favorites. I've done this a couple of times for Valentine's Day because I just love focusing on like specific pink and red shades. I didn't really have any berry hues, even though I do like a nice purpley berry tone. I just find that I'm kind of over it by Valentine's Day. I want something bright, I want something fun, spring, summer is coming. Whereas the berry shades, I kind of leave in the winter time for like holiday parties because you want a little berry in your red. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, let me know which one was your favorite. And if you've tried none, let me know your favorite because a girl can never have too many lipsticks. I will see you guys on Monday with another Monday mashup. Bye.